Nangombe says that government has already made an advance payment to the COVAX facility to have the remaining doses delivered. In addition, doses of AstraZeneca and Sinopharm were also expected this month, but they have not arrived as yet. Namibia, Nangombe says, has so far received more than 197,000 doses, of which 140,000 have been administered by this week. When do we expect the uh, vaccinations to arrive in the country? As I indicated, uh, we have ordered uh, vaccination, which we have actually already paid for, uh, through the COVAX facility. This was supposed to come much earlier. We are told that they are coming in July, but experience has taught us that uh, these, de these deadlines or these dates are not always met. Nangombe further says government has also engaged alternative recognized distributors to ensure speedy delivery of the vaccines. He says 120,000 doses has been ordered through Europe AstraZeneca as well as 150,000 doses of Sinopharm. Government is also in the process of expanding the options of vaccines. The most recent addition will be the Johnson & Johnson if delivered on time as expected. Through the Africa Vaccine Acquisition Task Force, AVAT, uh, we have engaged and we have signed the agreements to buy the J&J &J vaccine. Uh, this process has been completed. But the Africa Import Export Bank, through which the vaccine is being bought, had requested government to put forward a non-refundable deposit of 15%, which amounts to about $5 million. The government, Nangombe says, was not comfortable with the idea of putting down a non-refundable deposit. So we engaged the Africa Import Export Bank in order to put in place a standby letter of credit. Then by letter of credit, which required that we would open a bank account with a private bank in Namibia, a commercial bank in Namibia, uh, in order to arrange for that letter of credit. Emil Seibep, NBC News, Ventuk.